Hi. This is a brief video on how to add an employee record to the HR Data Manager. From the home screen within the HR Data Manager, I'm going to go ahead and double click on Employee Data to open up the Employee Information screen. It comes up blank and ready for me to enter a new record. Starting with the employee number, I'm going to go ahead and enter information and use the tab key to move between fields. If you don't have an employee number, that isn't an optional field, uh, as many of them are. The main fields that are required are that you at least have uh, first name, last name, and social security number. The social security number when entered does a check in the database to see if that number already exists and if so it'll give you a warning and the verify link right above the field takes you to the federal website for verifying social security numbers for users outside the United States this feature can be customized in the preferences to reflect what's appropriate for your regional needs Notice entering dates that the slashes are already entered for me and I only have to put the numbers. Drop downs allow me to enter the first letter and it attempts to find the entry that I'm looking for. Making data entry much easier. Company, division, and location are optional fields that can be defined to narrow down reporting needs if your organization so desires. The employee's date of hire and termination dates are tracked within the employee service history, which you can see below. This allows you to have a full history of any previous employments that the, the individuals had with your organization. Since this is a new employee, I'm just going to enter the basic information for one, one occurrence of them working for the company. Um, I'm going to leave end date, reason leaving, and termination dates blank since this is a new employee entry. The asterisk row would allow me to add future records if that individual had left and was employed again. I can add a photo by pressing the Add Photo button and then browsing to the folder where my fo photos are stored and selecting the appropriate employee. I-9 information can be defined including what documentation was provided and expiration date if appropriate. ADA disability information for reasonable accommodations and union information if needed. As you can see across the top, there's tabs with a number of information elements for the employee data. We're not going to get into each one of these right now, as some of them will be covered separately in a different video. But I want to at least show you uh, the general tab, which we've just gone through, and employee position and compensation information, as those are key to the employee record. I'm going to go ahead and select a job title for the new employee and notice as I select that it cre automatically creates another row. This is because this sim provides a means for historic information should that person change roles within the company at a later date. And again, I'm not going to go into the other tabs at this point, but we've now entered the basic information for employee record. And if I close out and go back into the employee data, I can retrieve that 
by using the find employee or find record feature at the top of the screen. If I hit the drop down and of course if I had a list of employees we would have more names in here but there's the employee I've just added and we've just retrieved that record. So that's basically how you add an employee to the HR Data Manager and please check for other videos as we explore the software and how to do different things. Thank you.